Grace Up book, friends. It feels like it has been forever since I made a video because compared to the fairly regular schedule that I was on, it has been forever. I took basically a week off and I had actually filmed the last video that I posted ahead of time. So it feels like it has just been so long and I've been getting in my own head with one of those like, man, it's been so long. Do I even know how to make a video? It's been like two weeks. It feels like crazy. Anyway, I'm a little late on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all the books that I read in November and the books that I'm planning on reading this month because I am excited. And dang, November was a crazy month. Leading up to the release of Rhythm of War, we got the Stormlight Archive book 3.5, which is called Dawn Shard, which I have a review, which I will link up above. But long story short, I think Dawn Shard is an awesome novella in the Cosmere. I think it's very important to the Cosmere at large. I thought the story was fun by itself. And personally, when I was done with Dawn Shard, I was expecting that to be very important for Rhythm of War. And somehow Brandon managed to make Rhythm of War super interesting and awesome to me in spite of the fact that it didn't really touch on too much of the stuff that happened in Dawn Shard, which I was so excited about. If you were to ask me, should I read Dawn Shard before I read Rhythm of War, I would still strongly recommend it, but it is definitely not a necessity. Now, as the Cosmere continues, I think Dawn Shard is going to become more and more important as like a, you have to have read this before other future things, but at this moment, I think it's okay if you just want to jump right into Rhythm of War after you finish Oathbringer or whatever have you. And speaking of Rhythm of War, my most anticipated book this year, dang, it was good. I also have a review for that book that I will post up there. I guess it's no surprise because I've been a huge Stormlight Archive stan since I started this year reading The Way of Kings and I, this book did not disappoint me in virtually any way. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, after I've made the review and I've talked about the book with more people, this is the longest book I've ever read and I could have been okay if it were longer and even dove more into certain aspects of the book. I've never felt that way before. In fact, it's the opposite of the way I felt about Oathbringer, which was that it may have been a little bit too long. I really just zipped right through this book and I could have even dealt with more page time, which is a crazy thing to say. I know some people that are probably going to hate me right now, but that's truly the way that I feel about this one. I loved it. The final book that I read this month was called Jade City. I also have a review for that book available. Of course, link up above. And Jade City was like a 1980s urban fantasy about like a drug war slash magic battles with crime lords. And it's so good. It's so good, in fact, that I'm gonna be buddy reading Jade War this month with Murphy. I will link her channel down below. Also, I love like doing silly things like pretending that you don't know who Murphy is, but you're watching my channel. <laughs> I'm super excited for that one because the last book ended with some serious, crazy stakes. And I think that because the name of the book is Jade War, it's only going to escalate in a way that is going to be wonderful and terrible at the same time. I'm glad I don't live in that world, but I am glad that I'm going to be reading about it. The book that was my patron buddy read last month, which if you would like to join in with those patron buddy reads, there's a link down below to my Patreon. Well, the book they chose last month was Sword of Kaigen, which because of Rhythm of War, I was in a little bit of a book hang over, I had to push it through, but I am done with it now, and wow, holy crap, Sword of Kaigen might be my most surprising book this year. In fact, I started the book last month, wasn't super feeling it. If it wasn't the Page and Buddy Weed, I think I might have DNF'd it. Instead, I pushed through, and I have never turned on a book so hard from negative to positive. Sword of Kaigen is easily going to be a contender for a favorite breed this year, and that's in a year when I read the Stormlight Archive and the Farseer Trilogy, which if you did not see my review of Royal Assassin, I freaking loved that book. Sword of Kaigen got me so good. I'm planning on making a dedicated review. Hopefully you'll be seeing that up on the channel soon, but oh my word, Sword of Kaigen was incredible. It's a Japanese inspired fantasy that sort of follows this family in a very rural area in Japan, and I don't want to get into it too much, but this book does things in a way that I've seen other books try to do. This one just succeeds. It also is just it's so interestingly paced and the nuance that it has, it has so much nuance in character and world building and like critiquing the things that it critiques. It's so much better done than it has any right to be. Honestly, I expected it to be way more ham fisted. Instead, I just, I was in tears. At one point I had to put the book down because it was affecting me so much, but then it built it back up in such a beautiful and like mature way. Holy crap, sort of, Kaigen is an amazing book and I am so glad that I read that this month. Speaking of patron buddy reads, the patron buddy read for this month is a book called Piranesi. 
Piranesi. I'm not sure how to say it. This is a book that people in my Discord have been really, really pushing for me to read for a long time, including Christy from Christy Lewis Dostoevsky in Space, host of Hashtag Stormalong2020, which, holy crap, Stormalong2020 is technically over. We have done this entire wonderful read-along where we read through the Stormlight archives. We got to do all the wonderful live streams which are available at Christy's channel, which I will link down below. If you want a you know, 25% breakdown at each sector of the Stormlight Archive. Those will be on the internet forever, and it was a wonderful experience. Such a wonderful experience that we are not going to let it die easily. We are going to be doing another live stream next week, which is just going to be hanging out and having fun, and then we're planning on, hopefully in January, once everybody has finished Rhythm of War, doing a big spoiler discussion for Rhythm of War with the Stormalong crew, and hopefully all of the people that have been able to show up, and maybe even new people. It has been such a wonderful experience. Honestly, I think that I have been spoiled by the read-along experience of Stormalong because I have become such close friends with my co-hosts there. Also, it's just a book series that I love so much. I was able to experience the book series the first time and the second time this year, as well as like, because I was part of this experience, I've been able to partake in so many different people reading this series for the first time, as well as people reading it for the second, third, fourth time who are able to share their insights with me. This has been an amazing, wonderful, extremely positive ride. I'm so glad to have experienced Stormalong 2020, but also it's not over, but it's kind of over, but it's not over yet. So be happy. Also editing Michael popping in real quick to say that I and Christy will both be a part of the World Hoppers spoiler discussion of Rhythm of War. It's kind of a follow up to the predictions video that we did. I will link that predictions video down below, but I'm so excited to talk about Rhythm of War with all these people now that we finished the book. Holy crap, I can't get enough Rhythm of War discussions. I've already had so many with my brother, which I think we're going to try to make a video for us talking about on the channel as well. Rhythm of War is so great. You should check out that live stream. It is Wednesday. I don't remember the exact time, but I'll be posting about it on the community tab. But back to Piranesi. Piranesi? I have no idea what this book is, and every time I ask somebody, they say it's better if you don't know anything. I'm the type of reader that's okay not knowing anything as long as I know I'm supposed to read something. I will probably love it. I just tend, I'm, I've been riding a real high of books that I love lately, so here's hoping for Piranesi. Another book that I'm going to be reading this month is something that I can't actually talk about because there is a special World Hoppers Secret Santa that's going on with lots of different people available at the World Hoppers. You should go check out the World Hoppers channel. That is a channel where lots of booktubers from around different sectors of the booktube sphere come together. All the money that's made from World Hoppers goes to charity, and I have so many old friends and new friends that are now part of that experience. Well, we are doing a secret Santa over there and we are all reading a book that we've been signed to another person participating in the secret Santa. We're each reading a favorite from another creator and then we're going to be reviewing those and I'll posting them on December 19th if I remember correctly. Thank you so much to Andy Smith for hosting that over there. I think that's going to be a bunch of fun. You're going to see a ton of crazy reviews potentially from books that creators don't usually read on December 19th. The last book that I kind of threw onto my TBR that I really don't expect to read which I am extremely disappointed about is Fires of Vengeance. I absolutely loved The Rage of Dragons. I started Fires of Vengeance. It starts off extremely well, but then I got into the Rhythm of War hype train and Fires of Vengeance sort of took a back seat. And because the other books that I'm reading this month are sort of like buddy reading experiences, I want to make sure that I'm reading those books with other people. So Fires of Vengeance is getting the back burner and it might have to be my January wrap up or I don't know. I feel bad because I really was excited for Fires of Vengeance and honestly, I'm expecting that book to be awesome but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. During the time when I wasn't posting any videos, I took some time off and I got to spend a wonderful Thanksgiving with my family because of everything that's going on. It was relegated to just our household, but it was still wonderful. I loved getting the family time. Thank you guys so much for understanding and for not disappearing as soon as I didn't post for a week because I took Thanksgiving break off. Thank you guys so much. I had a wonderful time. I'm feeling refreshed in so many ways. I hope that you you guys all had a good Thanksgiving and I hope I hope that you are enjoying some wonderful Christmas spirit right now as we're building towards Christmas. I'm excited for another month of reading. I'm excited for more time of talking with you guys. Please comment down below with your favorite Christmas traditions. I love seeing everybody's different things that they do around the holidays. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, especially talking about the videos that I talked about in my TBR this month, please hit the subscribe button. You hit the bell. You'll get notified when I post new videos. If you'd like to have in-depth discussions with me about anything in 
including books, music, whatever you want to talk about. There's a link to a Discord down below that's available for everybody. I would love to talk to you more there. I'm excited to continue talking with you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you.